All right, y'all, it's a very exciting mail day today. Uh, I've got three awesome packages I'm gonna open up real quick. Um, and yeah, we're gonna transform uh, the interior here, set up for a more uh, Overland style. All right, before I uh, open up all those uh, boxes, I wanted to show you guys kind of the biggest ticket item um, for this uh, video. So this is a Samsung Tablet A. It's an eight inch screen uh, tablet. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan of Samsung in general. Um, I'm a big Apple person uh, personally, but anyway, this is kind of a perfect solution for uh, the Jeep. So. The reason I wanted to buy a tablet um, was to run uh, Gaia GPS. Um, and so this is kind of the, uh, the way I, I use maps and uh, use stuff uh, offline when navigating the trails. So this particular device um, has a built-in GPS unit. And so that way I don't have to buy like a subscription plan on an iPad or, or use Wi-Fi or anything like that. I can go in this app and save uh, all the maps that I want and have access to, um, you know, to see the public land, private land, the MVUM maps, the topography, anything I want to uh, offline. And I can also kind of watch movies on this in the tent or whatever I want to do. So this is a really good alternative. I think this was only like $130 or so, so it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, later on in the, in the video, I'll show you exactly my thoughts for uh, where to put this in the Jeep, but really excited for this. All right, now let's open up these packages. All right, so we got a winch hook strap. Um, this isn't really an interior thing, but it was like uh, on sale and mine was really bad, so got a new one. We got the magic mount for the phone. This is a uh, external speaker for the CB. And then we have uh, a dash panel um, that goes right on top of the dash so you can put uh, more stuff up there. This is a uh, mounting plate for the CB. All right, we'll check out this dash panel first. This was like 20 bucks on uh, Oh, Amazon. Here's the phone mount. So basically, this just has an adhesive on the back, and you put it anywhere you want. Um, and then this is like a little magnet that uh, goes uh, on your phone. Here's a little winch strap. Cool. Should match some of my orange accents. All right, now this is the Rugged Ridge uh, CB mounting plate. It goes on the driver's side, um, on the very far left of the dash. It goes, it mounts through like existing bolts. So you shouldn't have to drill in anything. So it mounts just like that and then your CB goes on top. All right, might as well start off with the easiest thing. Um, this nasty uh, winch line. I don't even know what this is called, honestly. Winch rope, winch strap. It's just super old and uh, dry rotted. And I don't even know what this company is, but uh, it was like five bucks or so. Um, and I think it'll match some of my accents. So we will put that on there. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking the CB out here. All right, first test fit of this thing. Sweet. Pretty sure you just center it up and uh, drill it down. All right, it looks straight to me. All 
All right, well, that went on really nice. This is really solid. Quick update um, from last night. I uh, was able to finish the CB uh, mount, and that's about it. Uh, I was running out of daylight, so I didn't really film anything of that. All right, so here is uh, what I ended up doing for the external speaker. I kind of took this apart and uh, routed the wire um, through this, uh, down through here, through the cup holders, um, down through this plastic piece, coming out here and through here going up there, and then finally to the, uh, the CB. And I have tested it with uh, this lid on there. I can hear just fine. If for whatever reason I do need to hear it louder, um, I can just put it kind of down here and then have it out and then put this down. And while I'm on the trail, I can still hear that just fine. And it doesn't take up any room for the cup holders or anything. So kind of have two options there, um, but for the most part, it lives right there. All right, so I actually got one more thing to put in there. Um, this is a GoPro Hero. Um, it's a pretty old version. I think it's like the first version. Um, but anyway, this was given to me, so that is freaking awesome. I think I'm going to put it uh, inside the Jeep somewhere. I'll figure I'll figure that out in a minute. Um, but also, I think this will be a cool another angle maybe I can put um, when I'm on the trails to give you guys some, some cooler footage and some different angles. So um, we'll be playing around with this thing, but I think I got a good spot for it in the Jeep. All right, I think I found a perfect spot for this thing. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it right on top of my CB and uh, it'll stay right there. So when I'm driving or whatever, um, I can talk to you guys and it's a little bit better of an angle. Um, and then I can take this off really easily and uh, I'll probably put another little uh, sticky thing um, on the bumper or something so we can get some better trail footage. So this was my uh, on my phone and basically you just stick it there and you can pivot it anyway. So I think this would be perfect um, if I put on the back of this microphone right here, just like that. Okay, so I just made a um, little adhesive on the back of this with my double-sided sticky tape and gonna put this somewhere over here. Okay, just finished up the Steely um, microphone mount. This is freaking awesome, I love this. Um, and it's really cool too because when you're sitting there you can actually grab behind it um, with the uh, other mount like most standard mounts you can't really get up underneath it you just kind of have to grab it from the side but this makes you be able to grab it super easy it's awesome let's open this thing up somehow sweet so you actually get two different rings you can have a black one or a silver one so here's the uh magnet itself so you have adhesive, you stick it anywhere, you can position it, um, kind of do a locking nut with this thing, and uh, you just stick your phone on it. All right, here's my phone. Um, getting ready to put that backing plate on it. And then it sticks just like this on this guy. So here's where I decided to put these two uh, magnets. Um, and yeah, I did buy another one and that's for the tablet. Um, and these magnets are actually a newer version so they're very, very strong and I've had no problems holding this tablet anywhere. So um, I kind of have two different options to put this. I have one up here, which fits like absolutely perfectly in this tray. Uh, and then it just kind of goes against the uh, magnet there. So I can put that up there and put my phone here. Um, or I can switch them up if I want to uh, put that there and my phone up here. So have a couple different options. Um, and the reason I like these magnets a lot more than like a RAM mount or, you know, some other uh, device mount where you have to like clamp it is because um, that's kind of like an extra step. You have to put the device in there and then like tighten it. So just didn't want to do that. I think magnets are way simpler. Um, you just throw it on there and forget about it. So. Yeah, that's the, uh, the setup for the um, tablet and the iPhone. One other thing I forgot to mention uh, that I put on here was a hand throttle. Um, if you haven't seen these before and you have a manual, uh, these things are really, really handy when you are um, kind of going really slow on the trail and kind of crawling over rocks. So, you know, what happens when you're, when you're just banging around um, on the trail going slow is you accidentally like 
jam the accelerator and it you know it jerks the car like crazy so this thing is awesome you can kind of set a steady idle position and kind of let it creep through um, basically it's a cruise control with your with your hand right so it's pretty cool I like it um, there's tons of kits out there I think this was like 30 40 dollars I don't know um, really easy to install so that's that's something cool I like to use I just had one more package show up this isn't an interior mod um, it's actually exterior but I needed some new side marker lights here's the replacement I'm really over this smoked look I don't like it at all um, this one's kind of cracked right there so I think that'll look a lot better I really like the uh, the original I think I might um, ditch these for the original one but not sure yet yeah these look so much better I think so one last thing I want to show you guys is this awesome uh, phantom holster um, I, I don't think I've made a video on this but I've maybe mentioned it in one or two of my videos before <clears throat> but this is phantom holster um, it is magnetic uh, it fits several different brands of pistols or whatever you you have um, and basically you can mount this in your vehicle um, you know in your nightstand you know wherever you want to um, and it's just a really cool magnetic system um, really sturdy uh, I like it a lot um, but a reason another reason I like this is because it's so sturdy you can literally rack around um, in this thing and you know it'll hold up and won't rip anything off so it's a really cool system all right guys I think this is about it uh, I think we're finally done with the uh, interior mods um, honestly I think one of my favorite things was this um, mount for the CB mic this steely thing is awesome um, it is much better than the uh, you know traditional uh, track that you kind of slide it into yeah magnets are just awesome in general I just realized that all of this stuff pretty much has magnets but anyway it's the way to go so we got our GoPro here um, our CB we relocated it over here onto this bracket um, we have a microphone mount um, I guess I didn't really get into this but I have a sunglass mount a um, little headlamp light here, my garage door opener, um, some backup um, walkie-talkies. I have my tablet and my phone set up, and we got this uh, little dash panel installed. Um, the hand throttle, uh, the phantom holster. Um, over here, I've always had these, but these are just some, some gear pouches. Uh, this has like headlamps in it, um, chargers, uh, Leatherman multi-tools, knives, whatever. Um, this one I have like some more flashlights um, Just little stuff that I use all the time like I don't know keep that in there. So yeah I'll uh, zoom back real quick so you can kind of get a full um, View of everything. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna cut the video right here. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking this out Thanks for sticking around um, If you have any questions on any of this stuff that I've used um, any more of my thoughts, please leave those in the comments. I'd love to answer those. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.